Then I'm about then. By the way, I would be wearing a condom. So like you know, I what? So like you know, I would wait while I'm wearing it. I could lay that while inside you and be protected, or I could like pull it out and just lay that onto your bosom or into your mouth. Whatever you want, I'll give you a burn mattress, or I'll just feed it to you. Ah. Uh. What do you want? What is it that you desire? Maybe just to have it. Just to eat it, I suppose. Yep. You did say it tastes like strawberries. Because I would have eaten a bunch of strawberries beforehand. Mmm. <laughs> so. Mmm, there you go. <laughs> In the mouth. You're enjoying that. Mmm. Mmm. And then we would. Pretty much clean each other off in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. After that, or we just hang around in the bed. Well, however, oh. however, we see Excuse all the me time. Excuse me, Chris. Yes. I think I'm coming. Oh, oh boy! Thank right. you so much, Chris. That was a wonderful story. I hope that someday it will be a reality. We'll soon see, won't we? I hope so. Mm. Is it possible you could take a picture of yourself and send it to me on a PlayStation Network in a message? I will try to get a camera, yes. Alright then. Oh, by the way, uh... You do have my phone number, right? Um, not yet, but I haven't able to get hold of a phone, only at my current workplace. I was I was pretty desperate to get a place to live, so I wasn't able to actually, you know, get a phone yet. But, I would love to have it, so I can call it once I get to, you know, that point where I can get one. Alright, well, uh, uh, you have a pencil and paper? Uh-huh, I do. Alright, well, you can call me on my cell, it's, uh... Seven six zero zero eight four eight area code four three four. One more time, please. I should start from the beginning. It's four three four seven six zero zero eight four eight. Got that? Uh huh. Indeed, I did. All right, read that back to me. All right. Four three four seven six L oh eight eight sorry four three four seven six O O eight four eight. Yeah, that's right. Good. After you get your phone, let me know your phone number, you know, in a message on the PlayStation network. Or right. whenever we or whenever we talk in private. Then I'll know that I'll know that's your phone number. Mm-hmm. I'll try and get a phone soon. Okay. Good. Mm. And, uh, you know what? You made me feel good. Mm -hmm. Even though I didn't lose it right away. <laughs> you made me feel good. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. I'm happy I made you feel wonderful as well. Mm -hmm. You did. I think it, it'll be better when we're actually together in person. It will. You know what? I'm imagining myself leaning towards you, my forehead's touching your forehead. Mm. And we're looking at each other eye to eye. Mm. And then what happens? <laughs> I don't know, we just be emotional, then then we make out some more. <laughs> I look forward to it. Yeah, let's be emotional in person together when we get to that point. Yes. I'll be right back, Chris. Okay. Me too. 
apart. I'll probably be back in about five minutes. In addition, this partnership with the Federal Housing Authority will allow you to throw cash out of your home for any reason. We are in a rapidly changing market and under... A second, I got to put my earphones back on. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, uh, you were saying something? Yes. Sorry, what? Um, oh, you're, you're your speaking parents me. Mind? My parents mind what? If I came over to your house and we did the business? Would they mind? Would they be okay with it? I hope so. Uh, I think they're. I, no, yeah, they're cool. Yeah, they're cool. I would love to meet your father and mother. Hmm. And I'm. Um, and I will let my mother know about you as well. Mm -hmm. Without writing that file report to meeting you as well. You know, an introduction. Uh -huh. Can you say that again? Mm. I didn't hear you. Mm. I said um, I'll, 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 I'll talk to my mother and let her know about uh, you. And uh, after you come over, and you know, I'll be only too glad to uh, introduce you to my family. Alright. I'm happy to see that. Hear that. Hmm. So Chris, mostly I've been talking about, mostly I've been like saying the topics, is there anything you want to talk about? Anything that I can answer for you? Uh, uh nothing comes to my mind right now, it's, uh, it's pretty much blank, you know? Hmm, mm, alright. Hey Chris, how do you think yeah. the future would be like? Uh, how, how do I think my future would be like? Yes. Either yours or mine and yours. Well, you know, for, you know, for me at least, you know, eventually I would be married and have my daughter named Crystal. Hopefully you'll be married to me and I can be the mother. Chris, I would gladly be the mother to Crystal. Gladly. Alright, good. <laughs> oh, you yeah, have uh, a housewife, Chris? Hmm, let's see, but I was kind of hoping to be the house husband. But I'm very good with children, and I can cook, I can clean very well, too. Well, we'll see what we'll see what happens in time. When the time is right, you know. All right. Do you I mean, think in the event that we do you think in the event we do decide that maybe I am the housewife, maybe you could get a job? What job would you like to have? That's a good question. I would like to ask you. Uh, I'm not certain. 
but at least, uh, you know, you're promising, because, you know, you're thinking that Doctor's a good job. Wait, Chris, what about your, uh, CAD degrees? You can get a job with that, can't you? Uh, probably, but, uh, not really sure at the moment. Because, Chris, the thing is, I really don't have an American high school diploma. I can't work. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get a doctor, but I don't think it's gonna be easy. Yeah, I hear ya. Hmm. Oh, I will definitely give the uh, question some thought. Plenty of thought. Also, I'm really happy. I was looking at the, uh, I was looking at the internet, and I was happy to find out that there are a lot of things I can get online that I wasn't able to find in the Mulvanian stores. I was able to, I might just set up something called the PayPal. Have you heard of it? Yeah. Hmm, it's pretty good. Maybe yeah. I, I think I'll get one. Uh, I usually use PayPal for like, uh, paying or receiving money for goods I sell on eBay. Hmm, I didn't know you sold stuff on eBay. Yeah, I did. Hmm, what but, other Yeah, uh, just various things I didn't need anymore. But it's like, you know, it costs money, it, it costs money to list on eBay, and you would have to have a bank account li linked to that, linked to the PayPal account. Ah. But it's like, you know, knows, it, so then they know where to send the money to, or take the money from. Chris, I thought of something that may be able to get you money. Hmm? Hey. What if you advertised so much you and it would gain popularity and you could sell merchandise? You wouldn't need Nintendo, you could just sell it. Hmm. I don't know about that. Um I think it's a good idea. You really should advertise. Like in your neighborhood. Maybe in Marcusville. Um I'll I'll give that some thought. I'll give that some thought. I'm not making any promises, but I'll give it some. I'll, give, I'll think. I will definitely greatly consider it. Could I consider something, Chris? Yes. Maybe you can go outside, like do a meet and greet. Just walk around Ruckusville and meet a lot of people. Say, just be nice to them. Make few, make friends, and tell them about Sancho, and the popularity will indeed grow. That's something in Don't addition tell their to friends. Them. Yep, that's something in addition that I can think about. I really hope you do, because I would love to see Sancho an actual main brand, maybe even a video game to come out, so I could play on my PS3. It would be wonderful. Yeah. But you know what's uh, more wonderful? Or what would be more wonderful? What? What? You being here. I would love that too. Sadly, the economy is not letting that happen easily. I've said before, I'm trying yeah. very, very hard to get over there. And your efforts will be greatly rewarded when you come. Chris, I've... Since... Hmm... I figured you should try and do something. You need to prove to Nintendo that Sasha is a great idea. I know that, as far as what I've heard, they're not yeah. exactly... Yeah, actually, uh, they agreed, they, uh, they did, I mean, like, uh, you've heard, uh, yeah, they've acknowledged that it is a great idea, but, uh, because I was unable to make the trip, because I could not afford it, afford the, the trip myself to, uh, Redmond from Virginia, I mean, even on airplane or even in a, or even even a road trip well Chris I have like a, a step-by-step -step plan of what you can do you can sail up for a few months step one step two reserve a cheap airline ticket that can get you to Redmond second bring a trusted friend along maybe you can get in touch with a uh, Cole Smithy perhaps you still uh, are you still in touch with them no 
Oh, sorry. Hmm. Maybe you could bring. Hmm. You could bring your father. Maybe he could help. I've heard he's has somewhat the business expertise. Yeah, or maybe my mother. Um, or you know, here's a thought. I could bring you. Well, I think we could try that, but I don't think it'll be in the near future if we try that. Yeah. But by all means. It's gonna be a while before uh, I would be able to uh, save up enough money to actually save up like eight, uh, before I could save up like eight hundred dollars for a pair of tickets. I don't think it'll be eight hundred dollars. It'll be something, maybe like five hundred. I'm not sure, but I'm not positive. Well, time will tell. Well, a couple of months, and you know, you can get there. They'll reimburse you, so you, it wouldn't be a big loss. And then yeah. try and get so much you made. You have to like assert yourself, as I've said before. Yeah. But it's, not, yeah, but it's also like, you know, uh, I thought, um, yeah, Reg, yeah, pretty much, uh, Reggie Phil uh, Aimee's, uh, gave me, uh, pretty much very aggressive talk down to about, uh, Project's cancellation. Hmm. Though Reggie is, in fact, the big cheese of Nintendo, you yeah. should try, you should try, Showing to Reggie that you are just as capable as anyone else at Nintendo. Yeah. No, show I mean, him you can yeah. Him. Show him you can, as Reggie's once said at E3, I believe, show him you can kick ass and take names. Hmm. Yeah. But I gotta be able to afford the trip first. Then I can. Then I can show. Then I can show it to him. And uh, maybe I take get here. You can help me with that. I would love to help you with Sonic Chip, the game. I would love to help you. I honestly would. And you know what? Yeah, you know, and you know what else you can help me with in addition to that? Keep what? me emotion. You can keep me emotionally sound and secure. I, I promise I will. Yeah, you know, I like I like your voice. Chris, maybe you should try writing a game design document, like all your plans for the game. I have yeah. a plan for the game. Like, who would you want I have, to I have, like, I have I can a, start writing things out? Yeah, I have uh, some story. I, I have some ideas for stories and unlockables already typed up. Well, if you if you could type it up, or maybe just send it to me, maybe refine it a bit. Maybe send That's it to me. Maybe I can. Yeah, well, it's not complete. Right. I mean, I still have other story details to figure out. But, right. yeah, it's still gonna be a while for even, for probably even that. And plus, you know, those ideas will be trans will be pretty much translated to comics, to the comic books beyond book number 10. Hmm. Oh, that's another question. Can I ask you something? Yes. Um, about the next comic, do you think it'll take as long as the last one, or do you think it'll be here sooner? Uh, we'll see. Depends on how I feel. I'll do everything in my power to help you. And I'll greatly appreciate that. Hmm. I should go, uh, collect my thoughts about everything that we talked about and give everything that we talked about great consideration and, uh, right. big deal of thought. Alright, hey Chris? Yeah? Do you think you can come back here tomorrow for another private chat? I would enjoy that if you did. No, I've been here the entire time. <laughs> Under my cousin's name, of course. And, by the way, Julie, how did you enjoy that salesman? How did you enjoy that salesman? Guess who that was? Guess who that was? Did I hear you, George? Who was it? 
It was me. Come on. I was. God. Irritate me sometimes. And next time, I'll bring my gun. Alright. Chris. Chris. You leave her alone. <laughs> sure, all the way over there. What are you gonna do? I'll haunt your dreams. I don't I'll sleep. I'll haunt you in your sleep. I don't sleep. But I'll haunt you at every waking moment in your... in the deep crevices of your mind. That's all you're going to do? Do you want me to just kill Julie and say, I'll oh, haunt you in your dreams? <laughs> He's gonna kill me, Chris! Help! Do something, please! You leave her alone, you bastard. That's not going to make me do anything. That's not going to make me do anything. What do I do? Are you going to run, Chris? I don't think there's that, that will sure show me that. Run away, run away, do it. I'm not running. So what are you going to do, Chris? What are you going to do? Chris? I will be by your. I will always be by your side, Julie. Dude, you can't even make a trip but through you know wherever you're Julie lives. He has a you gun. Can't even make he that said trip. he's gonna kill me. Chris, I'm worried for my life. You have to do something. You said you would protect me. I have God by my side. <laughs> there is no God, Chris. What are you going to do? I'll pray for Julie's safety. And I'll pray for you to leave her alone. I'll definitely praying will do nothing, Chris. Chris you can't even protect I'm you couldn't even protect Sarah. What makes you think you can protect Julie? I'm offering praying is a way is my is one way of offering hope. And Obama, off the peace of mind. And that will do nothing. That will do nothing. Maybe I should just show up at her doorstep again. Get out of here, you bastard. That's all you're going to say. Get out of here. You're not going to protect Julie. I'm well, that's how she loves you. I'm here. I will protect Julie. Julie, how? Julie. You leave her alone. With your words. Words do nothing. You haven't taken action in your life, have you? I have taken more action than you have taken anything. That doesn't even make sense. What's the last time you've been outside your house? Today. Doing what? Doing what? At McDonald's? <laughs> Buying your... Whatever? You're getting something for his mother, you jerk. Something you probably never did. Yes, I was giving my mother a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And tell me, tell me. Laugh now, you bastard, but Have God will strike down life. and smite thee. Smite me. Yeah. Okay, okay. Tell me it's the most action thing you've ever done in your life. Tell me. I ran away from home, living barely on the streets in the below freezing temperatures. What have you done, Chris? I have stood up for my friends. I don't like and Megan, myself. right? Am I right? You are only a single solitary soul with with only as much power as the next one. You are only oh you are only trying to talk down to me and scare me and Julie because you yourself <laughs> are <laughs> yeah. impotent. Yes, and you totally protected Sarah, didn't you? Chris, he knows where I live. He says he's gonna kill me. I'm I of course scared. you know where you live. All you're trying to do is just make yourself. All you're trying to do is trying to up yourself 
try to make yourself feel superior when clearly you are not. Clearly I am. I mean, come on, you can't even... Tell me, you said you would, like, fight me or something. And you said you would inflict pain. Come on, man, you can't even, like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, any... I'm not I'm kinda tired right now. Hmm. I'm a loss for words. There's, there's no way to describe how pathetic you are. There was no way to describe how pathetic you are. You know what? You call me pathetic is calling yourself pathetic. You're about as pathetic as you are describing me as pathetic. What? You're the pathetic one. Because you are calling me a pathetic one. Wow, you really are autistic, aren't you? I may be high-functioning autistic, but I know the mindset of the majority of people individually. I have seen a lot in this in my lifetime. I have seen so much. And you are trying to scare me with your own with your own inferiority and slow wit. What do you mean, slow wit? You're the one with autism. You probably suffer from your own mental illness or physical ailment, don't you? No, not really. Pretty damn good looking. I'm pretty sure you would go gay for me. I bet you're on drugs, aren't you? Would never not right now, not right now, not right now. It's okay, Julie. I will never be turned. I guess, but Chris, he knows where I live. I'm... I'm scared. I'll plan a visit tomorrow, okay, Julie? I'll plan a visit tomorrow. No. You leave for what a while. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to play Russian Roulette. <sighs> Chris... You know what that is? I put a bullet in a gun. Look the little thing. And let's just see if she has the luck of a honest and pure girl. <clears throat> you know what? You played Russian roulette with yourself, I bet. And you've always come out at a loss. If, if I lost, I would be dead. You, you know what Russian roulette is, right? Oh, not loss, as in loss of life, but loss, as in loss of emotions. Okay, but, you, know what, you know what? Forget the Russian roulette thing. I'm just gonna shoot her. How about that? Chris, help! Clyde, I'm warning you. My brother has What are you going to do, Julie? What are you going to do? If she has her brother to defend her. Uh, her, I've seen her I, brother. He's pathetic. I could easily kick his ass. I doubt it. Wait, what is? If it... Yeah, well, you clearly underestimate a whole lot of people. So uh, many... Uh, no I haven't. I easily got rid of Robert Simmons. And I easily got rid of Sarah. I can do the same again and again and again and again and again and again. Really, are psychopath. <sighs> Why so serious? You need to be put in an institution. <laughs> More like you need to be put in an institution. <laughs> I mean, no. you're obviously delusional. You really believe that you, you can smite me and, I don't know, you can stop me with your words. You really think that? I don't just think that, but I am confident. I, I thought you would say no that. You're just confident. Well, I know that Julie will be dead tomorrow. And I know that you are already dead inside. Yes, I've been dead inside for quite a long time. You were right about something. But I'm still living in this little body of mine. 
and I will take Julie's tomorrow. No! You will not. You're right. You're right. I won't. I'll just leave her. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. What are you but going to do? But she's a good woman. She deserves to live. You don't, Chris. You don't deserve to live. Well, if you got the guts to say that, then why don't you come over here to my house in Rutgersville, Virginia, you bastard? Why should I? I would make the game too easy. And I would... Why don't you come to me? Oh. I could easily come to you. But the question is, are you... Are you so-called brave enough to actually come to the man who you think who you think you could take down so easily but obviously you fear so much you know the point of me doing this is for you to come to me you, you do know that right What, are you going to hide behind your parents? Your mother and father will protect you. Is that what's gonna happen? Do not interrupt me, because I was at a train of thought. Without me, your rage goes on without a point. Well, yeah, that, that's the point. My rage will die when you die. That's kind of the point. And then, what and would then you I can feel at peace. You would feel at peace, huh? Yeah, I bet that actually you could say the same thing about somebody else who probably has abused you in your lifetime. No. You said you ran away from home. Was it yeah. something, was it, did you run away at home, from home because your mother or your father or maybe both of them was it, was uh, abusing you? It was nothing like that, it was like, girl, uh, but that was a pretty bad lead in my opinion. But I've gotten over that. I'm here. And I'm going to do something terrible with you. And I should write down my plan right now. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nothing apparently. No. I am going to do something. Go to McDonald's? No. Please, you really need to do something. I'm scared. I'm doing something, Julie. I'm standing up for you. <laughs> you should not even live. stand up, could you? <laughs> you just leave her. You leave her alone. You let. You let. You let her live. You leave her physically unharmed because just as easily I can call the police on you I do it please they'll find me of course they will I will tell them the whole story about you and Ryan and uh, what you did they can, and w they can, and will find you. All right, look, my actual house is in Australia. All right, but you're not gonna find anything here. You're just gonna find hmm, a bunch of weed I left back there. But okay. I mean, you're gonna hide behind the police, and that's not gonna do anything because you know I am an American, so yeah, well, they can't do ask anything. Yeah, well, let me ask you something. How could you afford a trip to Australia and back 
it's and every corner you could go inheritance. quickly. Inheritance. Inheritance. You ran away from home. How could you inherit something? Of course, I'm a spirit person. I made it with my parents before they mysteriously died. Some reason. I'm taking a stab at this, but you killed them? No, they, uh, carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide. It's from... Never mind, you was too stupid to figure this out. No, I am not stupid. I have... I am perfectly understanding what carbon monoxide is. Then what is it? It's a poisonous gas. And where do you think that normally comes from? There's so many accidental... <laughs> accidental carbon monoxide poisonings. I can obviously tell because... I, you definitely killed them with your car with the carbon monoxide because you are putting so much emphasis on accidental. You could you could say you obviously have set up something to happen that would leak the carbon monoxide and kill your parents. What did you have against your parents? Man, you jumped to conclusions. Like you jumped to conclusions, man. You seriously need help, you autistic fuck. Oh, I'm the one who jumps to conclusions. Well, you jump to you jump to conclusions about me being incapable of doing anything. You are incapable of doing anything. I know that. <laughs> what? Am I right? Am I right? J just admit it. I'm right. God, every single woman, you wanted them to come to your house, you wanted Sarah to come to your house, you wanted Julie to come to your house, you are so lazy, why don't you leave your house, and drop a few pounds. God, stop it, that's enough. It's true, isn't it, Julie, though? Is it true, no, isn't it? No, it's not, you're lying, stop it. He is lazy, he's not going to come to you, you have to come to him, you have to sacrifice everything. He just sits at home and, you know, plays with You're lying! Stop it! Right? Yes, Isn't you are right? lying. No, 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 stop it. Listen. I'm right. He, he is lying. Yeah, listen. Listen, Clyde. If I could, I would come to, I would come to Julie personally. I would. But I have a lot at stake here. If I leave my, if I leave my house, I'm, and I mean, I don't know Julie's address. I don't know where she is right now. And if I had, and if I had the, uh, and if I uh, had the address, I would most, I would definitely go to her because I, because uh, she would, because I could, because she would be there to look to accept me. And let Chris, me in. yeah, I know, I know that I said I would like you to come to me, but. I feel it would be better for you if I went to your house. That is my decision. I would like to go to your place. Thank you, Julie. I appreciate that. But I'm just letting you know. I'm just actually, I'm, Chris. No, I will This is never. actually a very hard choice. No, this is actually Julie. Choice. I'm not going to let you leave. I'm Clyde, too scared to leave. You are Clyde, shut the fuck up. No. I won't. Chris, yes, I'll, I need to think about this. I won't think about this. Who's going to go where? You can't think when you're dead, you know this that, is, right? This is a somewhat hard choice for me to make, Chris. But I assure you, something will be done. You're going to let the woman walk out and sacrifice her safety? Just for you? Oh, you are a pathetic man, you know that, right? <laughs> Tell you what, you Clyde are so small. More insults. That's going to stop me. You're gonna hurt my feelings so much that I just 
Stay inside my motel. I don't, have to, I don't have to hurt your feelings. I don't have to hurt your feelings. What do you think of what I said? Do you agree with what I said, Chris? Yeah. I, I, I hear you. Thank you. Julie. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, you are small. <sighs> you think you could talk down to anybody. You feel superior, when clearly you are not. So therefore, you are definitely the small one in this room. Why am I pathetic? That I actually went out the world, because saw you stoop, everything, you, you instead so of my PS3. Because you stoop so low to try to hurt other people, to try to make yourself feel better. That is pathetic. Thinking that hurting others will compensate for anything for the better, when clearly it does not. All it does is just hurts the other people, and it hurts yourself further, because you hurt others against God's will, and you can only try to tone that pain down with your own self-abuse in your own in your with uh, your weed and whatnot. That that's just sad. You have my pity. Have my pity, Clyde. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry Ryan committed suicide over the one mistake I made in protest against that D page. But you do not need to harm anybody. You do not need to kill anybody. Because all that will do is just hurt yourself further. Because after, uh... Because after you supposedly... You supposedly did this revenge act. Then what would you do? You don't... You don't know. I mean, you say to yourself that you will be at peace. Exactly. That has my goal, to be at peace. But does it really fulfill your emotional needs? What yes, you feel? it does. It really does. It does. It will not. Harming others does not accomplish anything. Chris, you know all about harming others. You harm people every day. Your parents have to support you every single day. They hurt inside. They hurt to support you. I know they hurt. I feel their pain. You are the cause of their pain. They probably regret burdening every single day. They do not. They appreciate it. They appreciate every moment. They have put so much time and effort in me, transforming me from a mental, not a mental case, to a to a social. Person to, to a social butterfly who ha who can do so much who can do so much more than any low functioning autistic person can ever do. And for one thing, if they had not raised me the way they did, I would not be on the internet talking to all the people I have been talking to. I am a warrior in my own rights and my own personality. So that's why your parents got you that babysitter to give you the autism in the first place, isn't it? Clyde, I think that's enough. No, I want him to answer this. It's okay, Julie. They did not know better about the babysitter. How could they? No, but right. that's... It's not like uh, they knew the mindset of the babysitter. Nobody knows the mindset of any individual right off the bat. They have to get. To, they have to actually take a little time to see inside them for how good or bad a person they are. And that takes a lot of time and energy. And my mother and father, during my lifetime, saw so much good in me. And, all, and all, I 
have been, and then all I've showed for them was a lot of, was a lot of equal good. Some mistakes were made, yes, and I will not deny it, but I appreciate my mother and my father every day of my life. Because without them, I would not be a mainstream, socially acceptable kind of man than I am today. Let me tell you, let me ask you something from your brother, uh, Cole Smith, I believe, half brother. They said your parents, Bob and Barbara, they met at a bar and they accepted you out of a drunken stupor. What? Your parents burned you because they were drunk. They didn't know what they were doing. They, they were not. The failure to you. Listen, they were not drunk. Ask they them about it. Cole Smith, you told you years ago to ask them about it, but you never did, did you? Why don't you ask them? You listen to me. Drunk or not, they had me. At an old age where my mother was so close to menopause and my father was a senior citizen, it, I was a truly a miracle. Just like, um, just like a man with only one ball, and a woman with only one ovary. Which, by the way, I picked that up from Sets in the City. That's that's nice that you watch Sets in the City, you faggot. Anyway. Uh, anyway. Wait, seriously, what? Sets in the City is for girls. You, you do know that, right? I feel that... That... Shows that are that are supposedly aimed for girls are best are best set for are best viewable by those of both genders because men can attribute very very in a positive way emotionally from such emotionally enriching programs and also less wars would be caused if men were more emotionally liked as such, just like, uh, more emotionally caring and understanding, like women are. Did you know wars have been caused for political reasons, not because men don't care. It's not about, these are men don't understand feelings, it's because of political gain, power, and corruption. What is wrong with you? Those people who have fought for power are clearly, were clearly not very well off themselves because they, they had to hide behind power themselves. So many people hide behind one, behind one thing or another. I don't have to hide behind anything to prove myself. Anything or anyone. You do know that. Even Hitler had a girlfriend. Yes, I have heard that. My god, Chris. Do you not understand? You are pathetic. Completely pathetic. Apparently, I'm surprised you managed to even get three women interested in you. And yet, you're not going to do anything. Come on, Julie. If you stick with this man, you will make the worst mistake of your life. Well, sir, that's not true. Name three redeeming qualities that Chris has. There are too many to name. There are so many. I would have to make a lot of paragraphs all about them. And every quality that he has is why I like him and love him. So step off. Okay. Chris, let me tell you something. Where do you think autism comes from? Scientifically speaking, it has possibly come from a drug, or otherwise it may possibly be genetic. Then why do you say a babysitter did it? That's not drugs or, uh, 
whatever the other thing is said. Jeanette! The ba- the, stop. The babysitter locked me in a room by myself. Without anybody else to play with or in- socially interact with. That's just uh, that's just a real life event that brought out the the uh, curse that was buried within me from the genetics or the uh, medication. Stop lying to me. You don't have autism. You just need an excuse to blame all your problems. Isn't I have right? I have medical papers that have that prove I proved that I was that I did have autism. That was in the 1980s. Get a real diagnosis. My first word, I said my first word when I was two weeks old. Impossible. No man can learn a language that fast. Believe it or not, I was in my mother's arms, and we have, and there was a woman witness, aside from my mother, and I said, monkey. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't say McDonald's? I was trying to say mommy, but I said monkey. Okay. If you get a real diagnosis, like, now, you know what they'll call you? They'll just call you an idiot. Because that's what you are. You don't have autism. Don't blame it on that. You're right. I don't have to blame everything on autism. But, I am, and was, and I was at least. And I am a man, and I have recovered beyond, from beyond that. I have come out of my own aut- of my autistic shell. And have, and, and have conquered so many boundaries that any low-functioning autistic person would only be too scared to leap over. They're not scared. What is wrong with you? They have, they have actual mental issues. You don't. Right. They were inhibited. But I have conquered my inhibitions. You're right. I should not have to blame my autism. Because clearly I have con- clearly I have overcome it. You didn't overcome anything. You were just lazy from the start. You didn't want to make friends. You just said, Oh, they're gay. I don't want to be your friend. You know high functioning autism is a lie. It's a complete lie. It may be a lie from your point of view. It's not a point of view. It's fact. It's fact. Maybe from your point of view, but... I just said not point of view. I said fact. It may be, but it describes an origin. Look, look it up yourself. Look up high functioning autism. Who actually agrees with that? No one. Only actual autism or that Asperger's thing, but no such thing as high functioning autism. No such thing. As I say, get a new diagnosis. Now, and see what they say about you. I may consider that. Don't consider it. Do it. I want you to know the truth. Maybe then I won't hurt Julie. We'll make a deal. I won't hurt her if you just do my demands. Your simple demands, not crazy, stupid ones. Chris, please. What's that, Julie? You want him to do it? I just want you to leave me alone.